Hey everybody, this is Pat with Brain Trust Interactive, and I want to show you a cool tutorial today that will let users email you directly from your bot using Zapier with SendGrid and ChatField. So uh, there are multiple reasons why somebody might want to email you through your bot, uh, you know, customer service, a review, some other thing like that, where they want to be able to contact you and then get contacted back via email. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. So I've created a box called, or a block called Contact Us, and I've got it where it says, hey, if you want, you can email us directly from the bot. And then what I did is I set up a user attribute uh, for the to address, which is gonna be my address. I'm, that's the address that will be getting the email. So you could set up different to addresses in different blocks. So if you had something going to customer service and then something else going to returns or something going to sales, you could set up different to addresses. Uh, and then I can set up a subject. I could just as easily get the subject from user input. But in this one, I'm just gonna say, uh, uh, you know, set a static uh, inquiry uh, subject line. So uh, if you know anything about chat fuel you would basically create a user attribute by selecting that plugin now right after that I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna take some user input that again is a user input plugin that allows you to grab the user input and save it to fields so I asked the person what's your best email and I set it to email validation and I'm gonna save it to of course email and then got it what's your message and I'll just let them do some free type and let her rip. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to set up a JSON API where I'm gonna post this information to Zapier. So let's go over to Zapier and let's create a zap. And the first thing I wanna do is catch a webhook. So we're gonna catch a post, put, or get with a Zapier URL. I don't need to pick off any child keys. Uh, some advanced stuff there and so what I want to do is I want to copy this URL I'm going to copy that I want to paste that into the JSON plugin and I want to post and what I want to do is I want to send the first name let's see here users first name and I want to send the users last name then I want to send the two and the subject I also want to send email and I want to send message now you could always post more fields and, and build out your email you know a little bit uh, you know with more data if you want to but this is just a simple contact form so then after that I'm gonna put in after we, we posted and say okay thanks very much we'll get back to ASAP. Okay, so I've pretty much built this entire block. What it does is it greets the user, sets up some user attributes, gets the user input for email and a message, and then it's going to post to Zapier with the first name, last name, the to address, which is mine, the subject of the email, the actual email address of the user, and the message that they type. Okay, and what I need to do to actually uh, have this hook pull that data in is I need to actually go test this uh, URL and I need to trigger that zap so I'm gonna come in here and as you can see it says you know what's your best email so I'm gonna put in my Gmail address and says, got it what's your message wow you guys create some cool bots I want one, please contact me immediately. Thanks. Okay, and I'm gonna copy that just so I don't have to type it later. So there we go, it triggered the zap. Now it won't send an email immediately because what I have to do is I still have to finish setting up the Zapier zap. So I say, okay, I did this, come over here, and it's gonna look for that catch and there you go. It found the data. Let's see what it sent. There it is. It sent that data from ChatFuel. So I'm going to continue. 
And then I'm going to add my send grid. Now, if you don't have send grid, just go to sendgrid.com. Uh, there are other uh, integrations as well, like Spark Post and Mailgun and any other kind of email sending platform out there that you can use. But you need to uh, to set up SendGrid. You have to put in your username and your password, or uh, your username and your API key for SendGrid. But uh, I'm assuming that you know how to set that up inside Zapier. So I'm going to set up this app. I'm going to send an email, and I'm going to connect it to my account, and I'm going to set up the template. And here you go. So the to address. I want to come down here and select the two, and I'm going to say the from is from that email from uh, that I typed in, and the from name is going to be the first name space last name. There we go, and the reply to is going to be the email that I typed in in ChatFuel. The subject is going to be the subject, and the text here is. Um, I, since this is just a general inquiry, I'm going to say um, uh, bot user, uh, let's see here, first name, last name, submitted uh, an email or a message through your bot. And then I'll say email. And then message and I want to include the message of course like that now what I could do here is I could also include HTML where I could actually copy this information like that and then actually put in say like some actual HTML markup that makes it a little bit prettier so that way it defaults to uh, HTML or uh, if you're just, you know, if you can't view HTML in your email client, it will send the text. So I say, okay, continue. And that's what it's going to look like right there. And so let's go ahead and create and continue. And we're done. So the next thing we do is we turn the zap on and it's ready to go. And I'm going to call this tutorial zap so I know what to delete later. All right. So. Let's go ahead and test that again in Messenger. All right, so what's my best email? I'm gonna put in my email. And then what's my message? I'm gonna go ahead and copy that message again and send that. And it says, okay, thanks very much. We'll get back to you ASAP. So let's go look at the history and see what happened there we go. Tutorial Zap actually sent the email so we can see the data that came out of it. There it is. And you can see the data into the SendGrid plugin and the data that goes out was success. So it looks like I've got an email that got sent to me. And there you go. There's the general inquiry from the bot. There you go. And that is how you send emails through your bot. And I hope that's a good tutorial. We'll have another one for many chat as well. All right. We'll talk to you later. Thanks.